So the next oil I like to do is to take my carrier oil or whatever I have. I like to apply it to their spine. I like to move the hair up and flow it up as I'm doing it. And I basically run it up there three times. I am simply, it's not real hot in Texas right now. So I'm, I'm using um, the Equine Omega Gold on this particular horse today because I like to enhance all of the other oils and I feel like it is a great, used as a great carrier oil. We're gonna simply start with time and we're gonna run on both sides of the body and we're gonna run about six drops crossing over the meridian each time as you go. And the feathering technique is simply using your fingers to go up the spine. And I'll do it three times from three, six, nine, and then bigger strokes moving bigger. Bigger strokes. If I have a really big horse, you can use a stool if you prefer. And if you don't, that's okay too. So ultimately, I'm putting it on, um, I'm running about nine strokes each time. The next oil I'm gonna move to is oregano. Again, about six drops, wherever they fall. And then I'm gonna do the feathering technique again. And I'm simply spreading the oils with the back of my fingertips where they need to go. Three to six inch strokes the first time. Three of them and then six to nine and then nine to 12. So my strokes get a little longer each time. like to open everything up and start rotating three times to circuit all everything moving around and I'll push the energy through the ears so I simply start three times after I run the two oils and then I'll run the other side three times Good boy. Thank you, Chief. Big circular motions. I basically look at hit this as the three Olympic circles and doing it three circles each time. Then I'll take the basil and six to ten drops, whatever falls out, sometimes eight today, um, and do the same thing. And if you'll notice, to keep my body balanced, I'm doing one oil on one side and switching and doing the other oil to the other side. I feel like it keeps my balance better and it's better for the horse that he's getting equal of my pressures from both sides of the body. And this is basically how you feather the oil in. The next oil I'm gonna use is cypress and you're gonna sprinkle it more like a salt shaker and it's gonna be 15 to 20 drops whatever falls on and do the same thing again I'm switching sides this horse is gentle um, if I were concerned I would when I think of Cypress I think of supporting circulation you can see he's having a lot of releases 
circles. So that tells me I need to go back and do circles. So I'm going to pull down and then rotate clockwise. Pull down, rotate clockwise. Pull down. So I'm pulling into the lamina groove and rotating clockwise to stimulate, counterclockwise to sedate. True raindrop stops at the shoulder here. These are barrel horses and I personally prefer to move my way all the way up. And my intent is to pull the energy all the way up and through the ears. trying to get the best product to you. I'm gonna do the cypress and then I'm gonna shut the video off and then we're gonna move to the next oil. So once I do three times on this side, then we'll move to the next oils. Again, I'm just pulling everything off the bone and pulling it into the lamina groove to support the body with ever, wherever it might want to go. Thank you for joining us and we'll get to the next oil on the next clip. Thank you very much.